When we asked the community which new animal we should add to the zoo, which do you think was one of the most popular? Not only will I tell you, I'll introduce you to the new animal next on Zoo News. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jed Dodds and welcome to Zoo News. Back in 2014, we did a public opinion survey to see what animals our visitors wanted at the zoo. We focus a lot of our efforts and resources on rare and endangered animals like our Malayan tigers. We are also proud to exhibit African elephants who are threatened in the wild. Surprisingly, the public didn't choose a large or endangered animal to add to our zoo. They voted on a more common animal, the meerkat. It took about a year for us to put this habitat together, and now it's home to three male meerkats who came to us from the San Diego Zoo. I know zoos are always trying to find new ways to have the animals interact with the humans, and I think it's great because it's a safe environment. You know, kids are able to see them, and, and people and adults are able to be up close while still, you know, at a barrier. Yeah, I think it's really cool to see them this close. Meerkats are so popular with the public. They've been a hit since day one, since they went on exhibit. The visitors can go right up to those big glass windows and stare at the meerkats, and the meerkats will stare back at them. That's what makes it so fun. A group of meerkats, like these brothers, is known as a mob. They live in communities and depend on one another for survival. While the group is foraging, one member of the mob is always on sentry duty. He's keeping watch. He like looks around the sky to make sure there's nothing like coming so he won't so it won't harm them. And then it it will make noise to that, that way people that way they can hide. Why would they want to hide? In case like a bird comes in and they want to try and eat them. They send out a little vocalization, a warning call, and they all go diving for cover underneath one of the logs or in a tunnel. I like the sound of the meerkat. I think he's talking about he sees like a bird or an eagle or found food. Living in the Sonoran Desert, we've seen other animals that look similar to these meerkats, like squirrels and prairie dogs. Surprisingly, they're not related to them or cats. Their name is meerkats, but they're not actually cats. They're related to the mongoose family. That is correct. Meerkats exhibit behaviors similar to those of the mongoose. They're carnivores that use their thick nails to dig for food. Here at the zoo, we feed them uh, lots of bugs and as well as some meat. Uh, but we also give them a little bit of fruits and veggies because they, they are uh, slightly omnivorous, even though they, most of their diet is bugs. So what do you think he's digging for? Once they capture their prey, meerkats have a very special skill. So these guys can eat scorpions. Um, and they are able to bite off the stinger mm -hmm. of the scorpion before this, so they're very quick. Since they come from Africa, they're, uh, they're used to being in really hot environments, which is why Tucson's such a great place for them to live. They don't really drink that much water in the wild, uh, so they get most of their water from the food that they eat. Meerkats also have an adaptation that protects them from the rays of the sun. So you see how they have black around their eyes? Yep, so have you ever worn sunglasses? And what do sunglasses help you do? See. See in, when it's really bright. So those are kind of the meerkat's sunglasses. So they have black around the eyes there, so it helps to shade them so that the, the sun coming down isn't quite as bright. When you come to the zoo to see our meerkat mob, you'll have lots of interesting things to look for. They're friendly. They're friendly with people. They're curious. They're really uh, energetic. They're awesome, they're interesting. They're interesting to watch and they're cute. The only place you can go see meerkats in the wild is in the Kalahari Desert of Southern Africa. So you can go all the way over there, which would be a very expensive trip, or you can see them right in the center of Tucson here at Reed Park Zoo. That's what Bernice did. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen one, but look at these, that one looks friendly. Um, it's good to meet other creatures that we've never seen before. So I think it's come to the zoo. You enjoy it. 
We are so excited to have meerkats here. Our long-term goal is to house a large mob of them, which will increase their social interaction and create a better experience for you, our zoo visitor. If you have any questions about meerkats or anything else going on here at the Reef Park Zoo, you can always go to Tucson12.tv, click on Zoo News, and ask them there. I'm Jed Dawes bringing the zoo to you.